Olá, meus amigos. Hello, my friends. Que Deus abençoe a todos vocês. May God bless all of you. A minha oração. My prayer. Permanente por cada um. Constantly for each of you. Is that the Spirit of the Lord may come and open your understanding that you may know what is the will of God for your life? What is the project, the plan which God has for your life? What is the dream for you? What is God's ideal for you? Once you understand that He wants, what he wants from you and for you and you do your part you do your part then his plan is fulfilled his dream will be fulfilled in your life and you will live a abund- an abundant life so I want you to understand and please For this to be clear, I'm going to remove here the comments, the live chat, because this takes away the focus of other people who need to listen, but instead they're reading the comments. So please, excuse me. Done. So, the subject for this week will be the vision of the valley of the dry bones. You heard of the prophecy of the valley of the dry bones. The valley of dry bones is the lives of many people. Valley of dry bones. And God has raised his servants, his idealistic servants, to prophesy to the dry bones. So we see here the following. Ezekiel 37. If you would like to follow with me, this reasoning so this week we are going to speak of the subject and who knows you may still be dry bones who knows I don't know I know that there are people who are listening to me right now watching me who stopped being dry bones they became humans meaning body meaning they were blessed, they were healed, they were prospered. But not just that. They received spirit. Then they rose from that valley and today form part of the great army of the living God because they are people who embraced the faith They embraced the divine ideal and started to execute his plan in the lives of people who are suffering, who still, unfortunately, are still dry bones. But we're going to understand what is the dry bones, what is the valley of the dry bones. I understand. I have my understanding that the valley of dry bones is not just a valley filled with dry bones. This was the vision which God gave to Ezekiel, the prophet. But I see the valley of dry bones as as well in the lives of the majority of people today. Look at the dry bones, family problems, love life problems, financial problems, health problems, 
financial money problems, depression, problems which involve the lives of people. So, people say, this is my will. I would like to reach these people who are these bags of dry bones. They are living to the eyes of man, but to the eyes of God, they are bags of dry bones. They're dead. Dead in their dreams, in their lives, and so forth. In their dreams, which if they have it come true, would make them happy, them hap would make them happy for a minute, an hour, five minutes, or even a minute. Or it doesn't even make them happy. So they fulfill their dreams, but later fall into perdition once again. Why? Because they reach this point of saying, is that it? Is this it? Is this my life? I wanted so much to get married. I did not marry. My life is a shame. When I was single, I was happier. Now, I'd like to have so many kids. Now that I have kids, their headache day and night. So there are people who are true bags of dry bones. And we're going to speak of this subject this week. But from now, I would like you to understand, verse by verse, let us understand what God is saying. He says, Look, the prophet Ezekiel, who speaks. The one who is speaking is prophet Ezekiel. He says, The hand of the Lord came upon me. The hand of the Lord came upon me. Hallelujah. Remember what the prophet Isaiah said, that the hand of the Lord is not shortened, that it cannot save. Very well. Now with the other prophets, prophet Ezekiel, He, the prophet, then opened his mouth and by the Spirit says, The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the Spirit of the Lord. Meaning, the, the hand of the Lord guided the prophet, guided the prophet, in the Spirit of the Lord, meaning he was totally surrendered to the Spirit of the Lord. Then, what did the Spirit of the Lord do? The Spirit of the Lord transported him and set him down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bones. So the prophet starts by saying, the hand of the Lord, by the Spirit of the Lord, transported me to the valley, full of bones, full of bones. But these bones were not buried. These bones were, were out, open, opened, exposed to the sun, to the cold of the night. So, he came he came and placed him in the midst of that valley of dry bones and honestly I see 
the exact same thing. I can see this world as a valley of dry bones. Dry. A valley of dry bones which are exposed to rain, the cold, the heat, the drought. They're not buried. What does this mean? It represents people. People are these dry bones. We're going to see right now. So God took his servant to the midst of the valley of dry bones. And this is the work of the universal church of the kingdom of God. We seek to go in the midst of the valley of the dry bones, the prisons, the hospitals, the clinics, in the drug houses. We go to the slums. We go everywhere where the doors are open to us because we know there we have many dry bones who need life who need to return who need to resurrect then he caused me to pass by all around around the dry bones and behold there were very many in the open valley and indeed they were very dry today we have in the world almost 8 billion people imagine the valley in which we live in imagine the multitude of dry bones which are all around and perhaps right now you who is watching me you might be a bag of dry bones your life has no flavor no taste you see no future for your life you're completely lost in your thoughts in your depression in your anxieties in your wounds you're filled with scars physical scars spiritual scars you don't know what to do of your life and probably you say to yourself there's no way for me I am a bag of dry bones I just need to be buried don't think like this because God took the prophet his servant exactly to this valley of dry bones to bring a solution to bring life to form an army of God, an army of the living God. So the servant of the Lord, better saying, the true servants of the Lord are led to places like this valley, these valleys of dry bones, for this, to save them, to resurrect them. This is the word, to resurrect Yes, we have to resurrect. And this is the truth. This is the will of God. I don't want to fix your life, my friend. Because to fix, for example, you take your vehicle to a mechanic, they're going to fix the car, the, the vehicle. But though it, it will be from the same year, the same identity and etc. So, with time another one comes then you it breaks you fix another one it breaks you fix another one it's it's hell you keep chasing after the wind you run and run and run after solutions and you don't live you don't live your life 
You don't live what God planned for you. You did not enter the green pastures. Your pastures are dry. There's no water. There's nothing. Zero. And each time it gets worse. Because you're far. You're far. Very far. From the way of God. The way of the Lord. You know the word. But you shrug your shoulders. You don't believe the word. You don't believe. So you're here. Lost. Desperate. You're that person. Who has no hope. In improving. But don't be sad. We have good news for you. Excellent news. Good tidings. Which will make you a new person. However, for this new person to resurrect, for this new creation to be born again, better saying, you need to turn to this word. Then he says, look, I'll read the scripture once again. Then the hand of the Lord came upon me, the prophet, and, and brought me out in the spirit, probably out of his comfort. He took me out of my comfort. I'm speaking about you. But he brought me out in the Spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, and it was full of bones. Then he caused me to pass by them all. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, infinitely big, upon the valley. And indeed, they were very dry, very dry. And then he said to me, Son of man, meaning God treated prophet Ezekiel as son of man. In another occasion, I'll speak about this, the son of man. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O Lord God, You know. You know. A prophet answered what he could answer. You know, Lord. You know everything. And God knows your life. He knows all things, including you. He knows that you are a bag of of dry bones. He wants to join the bones to the others and to make you a body, but not just to heal your wounds, not just to solve your problems, which are circumstantial, but above all, He wants to give you spirit and life. Oh, how wonderful! That's what we want to share with you during this week. Tomorrow, we'll be here again because I don't want to tire you. I don't want to tire you. I want that you eat word by word, verse by verse, that you may be led by them and then receive health and live. You may receive eternal health. All right? God bless you, and until tomorrow at this time. Till then.